Thank you so much. Thanks for this opportunity to the women of Iran and East Kurdistan who now are in the mid of the revolution of Junjian Azadi for this conference. And we, we condemn the death stands of Hamburg University. It seems that they are also censoring the critical voices and it has reached to the biggest universities in Europe and that's and that's really concerning. For women, the working class, the oppressed, the marginalized and all the victims of the system, patriarchal capitalism is seen as an endless horror that has brought with it the greatest pain of exploitation, inequality, violence and discrimination. The crisis created, created by patriarchal capitalism systematically femicides women physically, culturally, economically, politically, and socially. Women in this system are the victims of the greatest injustice, and throughout their lives, they bear all the pain and suffering that put them in misery and led them to further destruction. The most frightening part of the violence and attempts for the destruction are naturalized and made unnoticeable. The, the system defines femicide according to its own interests and set lines for it according to its own interests and tries to surrender women to the framework the way the system defines life. Even in the analysis of thoughts such as Marxism, they explain that violence and femicide of women come alongside the emergence of societies divided into classes. Well, basically, class division of society began, began after the emergence of masculinity and the destruction of societies that were built by women's labor. All the material, spiritual, and cultural gains of women were confiscated and occupied, and the society was led to collapse and division. We can call a society the era of natural socialism, which does not represent the domination of one part of, over another. However, with the development of society and the dominance of masculinity in three stages of gender discrimination, Women became objects, property of men, and men became the guardians of the norms that are given to society through religi religiosity, science, nationalism, and sexuality. In the masculine mentality, the definition of woman was considered as domesticated and peaceful gender whose existence is linked to the existence of men. If, if women are in search of freedom and do not surrender to the masculine mentality and thus question the definition of women by men, they immediately will be attacked and face violence that goes as far as killing women. Because women's democratic thought, lifestyle and behavior as seen as a serious threat to the state institution and the patriarchal system. The state institution finds its escape from the wave of resistance, women's demo democratic thought and path in continuing and further advancing the slavery system. The negative consequences of this policy of destroying women, the environment and society are so strong that the system itself is in deep crisis in the era of neoliberalism. Wars and conflicts of major global and regional powers, forced migration, demographic change, militarization, 
war and destruction, environmental crisis, and incompetence of states in dealing with natural disasters such as floods, earthquake, global warming, and energy crisis on one hand, and preventing, preventing alternative movements, attacking them, isolating them, and trying to destroy them on the other hand, have caused civilization to face destruction. In this anti-woman world, the occupying and oppressive Iranian regime is considered to be one of the pioneers of the system that has imprisoned society and further isolated their lives in prison. The system that emerged and succeeded after the People's Revolution in 1979 led by women and youth, revealed more than ever that women have been used as a tool for the victory of masculinity and the state system. The, they, they became the first victims of the man state later. Forced cover-ups, unemployment, prostitution as a result of poverty, hunger, imprisonment, execution, acid attacks, child marriage, murder, and suicide have been just some of the gifts of the sexist regime of Iran to women. The Islamic regime, in its first step, attacked women, legalized violence and femicide, separated nations and races, and created conflict between nations, w women, and its marginalized groups by adopting the divide and rule approach. Its marginalized social and political life and thoughts removed the greatest threat to itself, the threat to the unity of freedom fighters, women, youth, and oppressed people that could have achieved a strong democracy. All the theoretical and practical efforts in the revolutions of history prove that we cannot, we cannot just demand reform of the patriarchal capitalist system and expect to succeed. We should, we should be able to present alternatives to women and society according to the current sensitive stage It is it, it, it is wrong to see the problem only in the state. When the state system is a means of accumulating power, and what is needed is to dry the nerves of the masculine authoritarianism based on feminism and and define it as crimes against humanity and life. A phenomenon that, for example, the Islamic Republic uses men to guarantee controlling the society. Therefore, this guarantee must be abolished and society must be rebuilt with a new paradigm and a different and democratic worldview by reviewing all the relationships that the system has established for it. Women, workers, environmentalists, civil and political society and the oppressed peoples have been struggling against the Islamic Republic of Iran for decades. But the ideological failure of the Islamic Republic of Iran after the femicide of Jina Amini and the revolution of women life freedom was the outcome of an intellectual revolution that has been based on Mr. Ojalan's thoughts and the struggle and leadership of women in Kurdistan for decades in North Kurdistan, West Kurdistan, Rojava and now in East Kurdistan. for a new way of life that does not ignore critical analysis in the heat of the revolution. If deviant tendencies or potential dangers are not well recognized and there is no 
collective consensus and plan for the democratic political structure that society wants to achieve, then the movement will be weakened. But the revolution of women, life, freedom is the center of the social revolution that has created cultural and lifestyle changes that are now and are growing. But, but past uprisings and revolutions, although they brought some new ideas, revolved mainly around reforming the system of government based on capitalist masculinity. And some of the centrist Iranian left believe that the collapse of the government and the transfer of power was the way out. Because they lacked philosophical thoughts and they did not have a solid political program that would lead to radical democracy and self-government. Due to its democratic nature, the founding philosophy of women, life, freedom, revolution can gradually explain itself so that it does not repeat the mistakes of the past and protect itself from the counter-revolutionary forces in Iranian political and social space. The forces of the system are trying to mislead the revolution by promising some basic social rights, depriving its slogan from the meaning, creating alternatives, and keeping Iran in the, sp in the sphere of masculine capitalism with new faces in the administration of the state. At the same time, in the case of group authoritarianism and domination, movements tend to form the same kind of power that they live and want to overthrow. However, the intellectual principle and system of democratic confederation as the practical project of women life freedom rejects all kinds of tendencies toward power, hegemony and, and the desire to become a state and it does not compromise with tendencies that are deadly for freedom, democracy and equality. It is the nature of the revolution to remove any seed of power the male power at home, capital power at work, the seat of government power in society, and all the problems that undermine individual and mass freedoms. Because revolution can only succeed when it is able to abolish the principle of absolute power and prevent the formation of any power that wants to impose itself on society in any form of relig religiousity and authoritarianism. In Kurdistan, in Iran, in the Middle East and everywhere, steps must be taken to destroy all fascist forces, false gods and false sacred ones. Because we are in the moment of creation and freedom begins when we begin to create a new life. We are women, women, Kurds, and we are rebuilding all our identities from our own ashes. The leadership of women, life, and freedom in the current Kurdistan and Iranian revolution is a sign of this creation. The revolutionary movement of women, life, freedom is a struggle between a multidimensional and democratic way of life against the one-dimensional way of life imposed by the Islamic Republic. Therefore, the more we insist on a democratic and diverse lifestyle that is compatible with the nature of each identity, nation and race, the more freedom will exist and be protected. Women are a symbol that has been rejected and banned by both individuals and society now, in the revolutionary movement of women, life, freedom, all the banned individuals, societies, and life st lifestyles have suddenly become able to express themselves. But to achieve 
the, the freedom that this project aims at, all suppressed identities must emerge and led by free women led to self-awareness and subjectivity. This political act cannot be carried out in a closed and dictatorial atmosphere of the Islamic Republic. Therefore, the only way is struggle and revolution. Free women are the deadliest blow to the structure and the ideology of the Islamic Republic and the imported dictatorship, fascism and modernity from patriarchal capitalism that prevents the true freedom for society. Raising the slogan, Women, Life and Freedom, is a modern cry for democracy, freedom and equality by Iranian women and societies. This slogan has brought such a new stage in Iran that the sections of civil society in Iran have started drafting various civil, civil declarations that look at all political, social, cultural and economic issues of society from a new perspective, paradigm and worldview. The Islamic Republic's response is death penalty, bringing cannons and tanks into the streets, imprisonment and torture, violating human dignity in the most brutal way. But the revolution of women life freedom will shake the thrones of dictators and invaders with the anger of the street and will sure, surely succeed with the support of the freedom fighters. Women life freedom, freedom for Abdullah Ojalan. important talk because the, the Kurdish freedom movement and Öcalan has been stressing that women's freedom is the absolute axis of freedom for all. And the reason for that is not something that we romanticize about the past, but it is about the communal values and a way of life of societies uh, that is against the capitalist way of life. And capitalism cannot uh, grow if this mentality is not destroyed. I just want to say one short thing about the slogan, Jinjian Azadi. Most of you know that the word Jin and Jian, woman and life, come from the same root in Kurdish. So Jin is woman, while Jin is life. And the connection with Azadi that Öcalan makes is that in Sumerian, the word freedom is Amargi. In Kurdish, it's Azadi, but in Sumerian, the word Amargi means going back to wom a mother's womb. So he then make, made the connection that if Jin is Jian, then for Jian to be free, women have to be free. So this is why, that's where the background to Jin Jian Azadi comes from. I just wanted to point that out. 